What's up guys, Super Golden Key here, coming back at you with another figure review. So today, we will be looking at SH Figure Arts Beerus. So before we get into the figure, let's look at the packaging. So on the packaging, it says SH Figure Arts Beerus. Here's a picture of Beerus, and another picture of Beerus, and another picture of Beerus, and there's Dragon Ball Super, and words, and a toy license of some garbage, and Bandai. And here is his face, and here's his hand. And there's his face covered up by his hand. And there he is. And there he is again. And there, and there, and there, and there. And there's words all about the place. And there's words I can't read. So, there we go. So real quick, if you're wondering why I'm so irritated, it is because... I just finished recording this figure review, and the audio was completely out, and I don't know why. There's no reason for it to be out. So now I'm doing this thing again. So that is why I sound irritated, because I am. So here's the figure. He has a nicely sculpted face, very nice eyes, nice detail all about. He has his thing, he has his golden band things all around his body. He has blue pants, which are detailed. He has his this front flap thing, which is a soft plastic. He has boot shoes, shoes that are shoes and let's get into articulation so for articulation starting with the head his head is on a ball joint so you can get all sorts of nice movement he can move his head all the way around he can look up and some he can look down quite a bit um, he his neck is also on some sort of hinge thingy, so that's great. He can move his arms, and of course that thing would pop off. This just isn't my day. So, his arms can do a full 360 degree movement. And as you just saw, the these shoulder pads are on little ball joint things things that love to pop off at the slightest touch. So that's that. And he can move out that far. And he can bend his elbow that much. A little over 90 degrees. And he has a bicep swivel too. Isn't that great? And his hand is on a ball joint. So he can do all sorts of things. And his ab, you can, you can move his abdominal region a little bit. And you can move it back a little bit. And you can pull out his waist and you can get even more movement. You can pull that down to hide it. And you can pull back and get some movement up there. Not a lot, though. You can hardly even tell anything's different. Whatever. He can move his at. He can move his hips all the way around, full 360 degrees, and his tail is on a little ball joint thingy, so you can move. And it's on a peg, right, right there. So that's fantastic. And this absolutely loves to pop off. It's also a soft, bendy plastic, in case you wanted to know. And his hips, hips, these aren't hips, these are legs. His legs can move out that much, so he can't do the full splits, but almost. He can kick forward 
about that much. He can kick back about that much. He, you can shimmy his leg down to accommodate even more movement. And you can bend his legs at a double jointed knee. Isn't that nice? And then his feet are also on ball joints. And his toes are also movable. So that's just great. It's fantastic. This is a great figure. Buy it if you want. I got it on Amazon for, for about $40. Almost all fig. Almost all. No. Uh, words. They're hard to do. Almost all SH Figure Arts figures, at least of the DBZ line, cost about $30 to $50. So there you go. Except for some of them, it costs like 100 but that's ridiculous. Anyways, accessories. So, starting off with accessories, he has three heads. One head is a regular, just emotionless face. Just very neutral. He also comes with this open mouth face. The teeth are individually molded, and so is the tongue. And there's that. And then my favorite head is the yawning head, because Beerus can does can words, because Beerus does stuff like that, and so do cats. So that's great. His tongue's molded, and so are his teeth. Now to get on to the hands. So here are all of his hands. He comes with a fist hand. So these are just regular, just fists. He comes one. He has one for each arm. They are nicely molded, nicely detailed, and there's paint on the fingernails. So there you go. Hands. Then he comes with these hands, which are basically the exact same thing, except they have a hole in them. So you'd assume he'd be able to grab something, but he doesn't come with anything to grab. So that just leaves us guessing. Then he comes with these open open hands and they're open and he can do stuff and his fingernails are molded so that's nice and then he comes with this hand which is like a pointing finger hand so yeah he can do stuff with that he only has it for his right arm and there you go hands so my overall thoughts about this figure it's a great figure buy it if you want to and here are some size comparisons. Here it is with the Shoto Neo Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. As you can see, he is about two times the size of a Shoto Neo figure. And just because I have it lying around, here it is with a Rubik's Cube. Thrilling. And just for the sake, here are some pictures and poses that he can do. there. Now wasn't that interesting? Well, I think this is going to wrap it up for the for the figure review. And so, I'll uh, see you all next time. So long.